Right, my name's Robin uh, from Secret Coffee Social. Basically, what I'm going to do is a twist on a traditional drink. You can't get much more traditional than a cup of tea. Uh, basically, Sir Hans Sloan, he was a botanist. He was born back in the 1800s. He was born in Ireland, grew up in Ireland. Studied in London, became a physician on the Royal Navy. Travelled around the world with the Navy as a physician for the Admiral, uh, went over to the Caribbean. So my reckoning is he didn't have much to do with gin. He most probably drank a lot of rum and a lot of lime juice mixed into it. But his collection of botanicals and stuff obviously started the Natural History Museum. Uh, it's more to do with the fact that this is made in the Netherlands. It's a London dry gin, but it's made in the Netherlands. Uh, the, the sort of uh, the thanks we need to give is really to the master distiller over the Tarank distillery. He basically distills each individual botanical and then blends it himself with his nose to make this gin. Uh, I find a lot of vanilla -y sort of notes. So obviously the way I've come to this drink is I thought about tea, a traditional cup of tea. Uh, tea was drunk in Asia long before any alcohol was sort of drunk. So I basically came up with an, uh, with an Asian tea. It's a mixture of a vanilla tea, a rose tea, and a China Penang tea, which is a dark tea. I've steeped that in my gin for about 10 minutes to give it sort of a taste. I haven't used any heat or anything like that because once you start using the heat, you start getting a bit of the tannins and stuff coming out of the gin. Oh, so, sorry, out of the tea, which we don't really want in this drink. So to start with, in the drink, healthy portion of protein. So we've got a little bit of egg white in there. Then we've got about 50 mils, or we have got 50 mils, of the gin infused with tea. taste of the tea because it's actually quite an interesting flavour. Then we have 25 mils of lemon juice, freshly squeezed this morning in, in both drinks. To bring out the sort of floral, floral notes of the tea, I then use 10 mils of the rose syrup. So, Got 10 mils of rose syrup. And to bring out the orange flavours of the gin, we've got a couple of dashes of orange bitters. This is then obviously. Dry shake that. Good dry shake of that. This is then fine strained into grandma's best china. And it is my grandma's as well, so don't break it. <laughs> Does she know you've got it? She does know I've got it. <laughs> but she won't be happy if I break it. Pardon? Well, actually, this is the reason why Grandma's always got a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you go around Grandma's house, she always guaranteed, Oh, hi kids, yeah, come on in. This is why. <laughs>
and then finish it off. As my brother is a chef, he taught me quickly how to make vanilla macaroons. They're homemade ones. Ho homemade vanilla macaroons. They did take me about three or four tries, <laughs> but they are homemade. And then just to finish it off, it's just a. Hold on a second. Just a light spray of uh, Violette just to bring out the floral notes of the drink. And that is my drink, and the name of it is uh, Grandma Sloan's Tea Time Tipple. <laughs>